Robert Summerlow live in Seattle. He works for the Seattle Art Museum. The Seattle Art Museum bought this building many years ago. It was built in the 30s, and they converted it into their Asian art museum. So it's the most deco building I've ever seen filled with Asian art. But these, this is one of the front doors. And it, it's just spectacular. And it's also probably 20 feet high. It's a spectacular, spectacular building. But this is my favorite, and it's kind of local. It's not Palm Beach County, but it's Miami. <laughs> we have another guest artist today, Ralph Pum. I would be communicating with everybody, email and sending and talking to Jessica. And I built this wonderful thing that no one saw. But we did live on Facebook. We did a Facebook Live. We had yeah. a Facebook Live. Yeah. We were here for three months. Yep. Yeah. Um, April 13th to June 13th? No. June 13th to September 13th, excuse yeah. me. And uh, it occupied the whole wall. So this is always like our wall. Yeah. Dan is here. If you want to go down and talk about your paintings. Thank you for coming. This is Dan, a members of the Art Deco Society. All is well. This is Dan. This building doesn't always hold 12. Just a special submission. Welcome, Dan. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, uh, I'm, I, uh, I'm a member of the City of West Palm Beach's uh, Historic Preservation Board. Thank you, Pete. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> In order to prepare for this, um, I asked our, our chairperson, who is also, uh, her name is Jessica Skyer. Jessica Skyer. Ms. Amanda Skyer. She is the uh, CEO of the uh, Preservation Foundation of Palm Beach, but she's also our, our chairperson. Uh, and so, uh, the preservation is across the street from this. I don't have permission, but no one can stop us from walking over and taking right, pictures. Right. <laughs> Wait, but but we're, going to be the, we're going to the 2631 Flagler, where we do have permission to get off the bus and walk around the building. But you don't need permission to walk around on the building. sidewalk. But we will see this tonight. Will it still be light out when we're there? Yes, oh, at great. 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, plenty of light. That was my question. Yes, Thank 6 o'clock. We're going to be there at 6 o'clock. Okay. What, what, I did, what I did here is. <laughs> um, it's tough to get it on one, one drawing, but this is basically. Um, what it looks like. Yeah. That's 162 per roof, and we're going to see that tonight. Right, you're going to see we're, that. When we have dinner in Worth oh. Avenue. Right. And this is a, um, a close up of the door. Wow. Oh, yeah. Very ornate. Yeah, great job. Will it still be? Uh, looks like this. Um, this other building here is located um, on 19th Street, and I think it's the Northwest. Oh, they went, okay, they went. <laughs> <laughs> it's in West Passage. It's actually hidden by bushes. You right, can't even right. see this building. This is, you can um, it's you a residence, but if ah, you it's, discover it's things. It's hidden by shrubs. Wow. It's all boarded up. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the windows are correct for, for, for that period. I, I, um, after I did the painting, I, I saw a... Um, uh, a, a photograph that was done of it uh, a number of years ago. The door is different, but again, I used um, uh, that, that trope of the, the, the sunbeam uh, for it. And again, color fields. The National Park Museum involved. <laughs> My father said, Why are you sending these things to the museum? I'll send you crazy. I said, No, they won't. If the person who opens this box knows what this is, they're going to like it. Sure enough, I did that for 15 years. All the jewelry that they sold in the catalog. Everywhere. So Metropolitan Museum of Art. Wow. I saw it in Macy's. So much literature in your gift bag. All right, so let's see what time it is and how we're doing for time. It is 11:22. Do they have time to walk around? Um, Thank you. We have we have time to walk around and go to or go to the.